What's for dinner tonight? We bring in the man with the plan, Mark Pollard with Charleston Cooks. He always has some great ideas for us. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good, how, how do you like my hat? I love that hat. It's my, so, so appropriate today. My mother-in-law gave me this hat to wear today, so I'm wearing it and salute. And we're still praying for mother-in-law. Thank you very much. We, Thank you very much. We love her and we know that she's going to be just fine. She is. She so, is. She's going to be great. She's watching Studio 62, so we're good to go. What more could you ask for right here? <laughs> <laughs> Look what we've got going on today. Oh my today. gosh. Such we've a, got some flavors going on today. I just want to dive into this this soup. You know, here's the neat thing. We were talking, you and I were talking yesterday about what should we do? How should we honor our veterans with a nice lunch or something today? Yeah. The neat thing about this is we've got seasonal flavors. Yes. We've got things that are synonymous with this time of year, holidays, all those kind of things. We've got everything from pecans to really good delicious cheese. We've got a wonderful butternut squash. Lots soup. of flavors that you can incorporate. Oh my goodness. Squashes are so good right now. You've got the butternut squashes. You've got uh, acorn squashes. You know that pumpkin is actually from the squash family? I did not know that. Why? By golly, I guess it, it makes, is. It makes sense, but mm -hmm. I, I never thought about it. They're all part of that gourd squash family. Yeah. So what we've done with this today is we've continued with those fall flavors because we are getting into the holiday mm -hmm. seasons now and everything. The fall is definitely upon us. It really is. And butternut squash is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You can take this, and this is what I did, is I took the butternut squash and I chopped it up or I diced it mm -hmm. and then tossed it with a little bit of olive oil and then put it in the oven, roasted it off, and then made my soup going from there using a chicken stock. But then we have to add to this. This is a roasted oh butternut gosh. squash kielbasa and wild rice. Sausage and wild rice, what you say? What more can you ask for? <laughs> I mean, this is a meal all built in it's one. It's a beautiful soup. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it creams itself. I used, I pureed a little bit with an immersion blender, mm -hmm. and then added that wild rice, and you see the wild rice kind of opens up and everything. Add a little bit of parsley, some onions. And, and one of those a, fall a days when it's a little cold oh, outside, my goodness. and you just want something to warm up by the fire. Honey hush <laughs> is what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> so we've got this beautiful, beautiful soup. It goes well with anything you can possibly have. But what's better with soup? A nice Sammy. Uh, a nice Sammy, And not just course. any kind of Sammy. A men or cheese sandwich. That's right. Now, and this isn't just any men or cheese. No, this did not come from the <laughs> store, friends. This is my personal Mark recipe that you will get, and please remind me to email it to you. Oh, please do, so we can because get it our on viewers immediately. love to oh, have yeah. your recipes. Oh, yeah. So what we've got here, I've got four different cheeses. I start with an extra sharp cheddar. You've got to kick it up. If you're mm. going to do it, go all the way or don't go at all. Just don't, don't just stay at home. Just stay on please. the porch. So we start with the extra sharp cheddar. I add a really nice Parmigiano Reggiano to that and do the extra mile. Go ahead and add the Parmigiano Reggiano. So much better. Oh gosh, my mouth is watering now. Just oh. thinking about I, then, I love that honey hush. Oh, it's crazy. It's cray cray. <laughs> so now, if that's not enough, then we add a really good Gruyere, a nice French a cheese, cheese in there. Yeah. Some of you and, are like, huh? Yeah, what's, what's he that? talking about now? A little cream cheese to keep it smooth. Of course, I've got to use a good mayonnaise. We know which one I use. I'm not even going to say <laughs> it. A little bit of Dijon mustard in there and some roasted garlic. Mm. Roasted garlic. Now, the pimentos are actually red peppers, and I roast those off, too. So everything is really easy to make, and for a little kick, because I know you like a little kick, you I know, got a little I jalapeno a little in there, mm. so that's a beautiful thing. So we're gonna we're gonna take take a quick break, yeah. and then we're gonna come back and check in. You're gonna talk about some upcoming classes you have at oh, Charleston yeah. Cooks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk desserts, 